day. Unto my days, you've added another year. Unto my years, you beat me from the miracle. You set me up on the road to stay. Let me take a few 
Prince uh, said about Tony. He said he met Tony at a T junction <laughs> in federal government for the Can you imagine? I was the house mistress. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, these are decent people, children of God. We never ever had thoughts. Those of us who were ever to remember a life of Peter, how he used to monitor people in dark corners. Where you see two heads, I just want God to know. But there was no feeling like that. In fact, in this book, you will not find anything to be seen there. You will not find anything immoral there. You will not find anything physical there. And people will say, oh, it's a love story. Yes, it is. You can have a decent love story. Love story that is sacrificing. A relentless love that keeps on pursuing until the uh, love lover got what he wanted. So we celebrate night. To him, there's a special place in my heart, and I have reserved it for you. And he also told her, no matter how long it takes, I'm ready to wait. And do you know how long it took? More than seven years. I don't know how many of us can wait that long. Not just that, the girl said, okay, I agree, let us wait for some time. There was what I learned as a new language, status. <laughs> I thought status was only on your side. They said there was a waiting status and a decision status. Can you imagine somebody giving you a no answer three times? <laughs> and the young man did not go. Because he felt Tony was what waiting for. I learned a few things in the book. Sometimes they say that African men don't know how to show love. <laughs> like demonstrated love. Big way. <laughs> in a big way. He would buy her things. And he said something that I found interesting. He said that. My time is up. No, no, no. I just felt I could be good. I'm okay. Thank you. He gave her gifts, but he gave her the gift of kindness. Any step Tony was going to take, life was always there to back her, even though she said no. When life went to just, Tony was in his heart. When he went to Katsina, Tony was in his heart. When he went to Lagos, she was there in his heart. Every moment, he said, when you love someone, anything you see that is beautiful, you want to share with that person. And there were love letters. I understand that Lai was a prolific letter writer. He wrote letters. And one of the letters got to him in trouble. <laughs> I will not tell you what was in the letter. I think you can get your copy if you want to. Then there was something also very, very interesting, especially for us parents. They didn't leave us out of their love story. You know, these days, you just see boy meet girl, they talk, 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 we are great, and that, that, that. But this was not like that. Tony was a daddy's girl, and daddy has to be part of his every step of the way. So uh, Lai had been fending for himself right from the university days when he was a student. I was impressed by that. Many of us were blowing up our list to give to our parents for requirements for school. But he provided his own needs. Very responsible young man. I'll say just one or two other things. So same time. Yeah, there's something about life, I don't even know from which angle to approach it now. Said so when he was going to tell Tony, 
about his intention towards her. He had to prepare what he called the manifest. And it was a marathon walk. Can you imagine? You are talking to the girl of your dreams. You spoke for one solid hour. And at the end of your long presentation, the young girl answers. <laughs> girl, what don't you understand? I started again. Then there was another part. <laughs> the parents, you know, they normally ask a lot of questions when you bring somebody home. Tony said that uh, the parents will ask a question in one minute, like we answer in 15 minutes. And it got to a point when you and I had gone home. You know, all these things happen, so you better take notes. And they were talking about the visit. And the mother said, Tony, this is your husband, can talk. But see what talking has done for life. He gives seminars, lectures. I was walking that day, stair way with him one Sunday, and somebody called out, Billionaire. You know why she felt he's a billionaire? Because he has ideas. So many ideas that he talks about. He's always ready to put one through one idea or the other. So he's not just approaching matrimony in the sky. His feet, well planted, had solid plants, and he shared the plants with uh, to him. They discussed all kinds of things. You can imagine talking to someone on the phone almost all through the night. <sighs> so there was a lot of communication. So they had established a fair ground on which to build their home. And I'm happy that they are shining today. And may you continue to glow and glow so that many people will be attracted to marriage because many, many, many are discouraged these days. And they feel probably there's nothing to look forward to. But all through this time, even when Tony said this, there was delayed gratification. I don't know how many people can do this. In fact, one of uh, Tony's, uh, <laughs> shall I say, Suto, had to walk away because he was not allowed to take, to steal a case. He walked away from the relationship. But life remained solid. He gave a pledge and he Stayed by it. But uh, I think we should just uh, run up quickly. In the epilogue, that is the concluding section, I told you that this book did not follow the normal structure of most books. You will not see chapter one, this, this, this. Instead, you will find a section with the title. And one of the titles that fascinated me was, and it was, I love that. And that was just before the marriage. Beautiful proposal, you propose to your bride. <laughs> and the book just got up, hugged briefly, and everybody went to sit down. And they held hands, and they started praying. I said, yeah. <laughs> So help me God. I pray that God will help many of us in Jesus' name. <laughs> so what do we have to recommend about this book? And what do I find slightly lacking? I was looking forward to dialogues. That is real. I know Tony talks well. And I know life can be very persuasive. So I was looking forward to bits and bits of their conversations, the dialogues. But many of them were paraphrased. 
it took away a bit of the pleasure. But I'm sure the next one that comes around will be better in that area. Then what do we have to recommend? So many things. Love is beautiful. Love is beautiful. And the way it is portrayed in this book, I don't think you can find love that is more beautiful, except the one that our Lord Almighty has for us. It's a relentless love that kept on pressing and pressing. The universe say that if you are patient, you can cook stone and become salt. With all the oat sugar today, hot tomorrow, chili the next day. Even when I was discouraged, he still had a few people who helped him to go along. So you, you can't go through love alone, that's what I'm saying. You have friends, and you have your parents. Take them along with you. Because what the child may not understand, the elder will be able to. So the adults, even grandparents, can still find this book very useful. Because they will learn a thing or two as to how to guide when young couples are ready to settle down. I love the marriage preparation they spent within their budget. They didn't overburden their parents. That's another lesson that I have learned here. That is not to say that every courtship will be like this. But I urge you all. And uh, when it is time to do the launching, I'm going to buy a few copies for the Young Adult Fellowship Group. So that they can do it. And, let me too. and uh, the ladies' fellowship, and I looked around to see whether our president will be here. I'm sorry, I'm skipping some stages because you know we're the vulnerable group in this COVID era. I'm not supposed to be out in a crowd like this for so long. So I'm just putting things together quickly so that I can sneak off. So the ladies' fellowship, I would urge them to, to buy. Because the, the young children, bless uh, my young lady here, or my daddy, that one day told me uh, that they will come. Amen. And this book will be useful then. I thank you all for your attention. classes you don't miss as a student in FGC in the English class. She has a way of making you to want to like English. And today she has given us a very fantastic book review that has actually opened up our mind to be able to want to buy. And you know, one of the things I used to joke with like, uh, apparently today is a special day too many for me. One, one of our mutual friends is celebrating her birthday today. Big boy, how do you know? Happy birthday to you. And then it's also a, a slightly bad day for me. I don't want to tell you that today. But one thing I we used to joke about life that life is a long sufferer. <laughs> we used to say life is that long sufferer. Waiting for 10 years. Ah, life how far. And as a president of a fellowship, you know what that means. And then I used to tell me that ah, there are no other sisters. But he persisted. He was patient. And the Bible says we should not throw away our confidence, our perseverance, because it will be rewarded. And today, it has been rewarded. He got to it and expanded it to become mother of nations. Having a mother of priests, you know. When I saw that video, I didn't know that he has moved into mommy Jiro level. I heard on that video shows that, ah, the way she was looking at her husband, I said, these people are running a ministry. May the Lord bless us, and today we are moving to the permanent site. Hallelujah. So we actually put a review of the book, The Beloved and Lover. And we are going to talk more about the book and then uh, during the program. But because of moment, that's why we have to shift the book review. How many of us believe that she did justice to that book? Testimonies. Testimonies of
about marriages and then I, I like to have volunteers. We are celebrating 10 years. I was also 10 years in marriage in December. So I, I want to have So show some respect. Hallelujah. So we are going to be having some set of people to just share with us about how your marriage also started and what are the major challenges? How are you able to overcome? And then what advice do you want to give the upcoming generation? If you have people who are volunteering, I want you to volunteer as we grow. I want to also say that I'm giving us because you know somebody will go to be the first person who built the cart. And we are waiting. But I will forget if if people are not coming up. But let me just keep to that and then why we are waiting. If nobody comes, I'm going to call a uh, few people. That's why I told some people that when the Lord has joined together, let no occasion put us under. Amen. Amen. Today is a lovely day, and I want to thank God for what God is doing. Many a times we wonder this thing called marriage. What, what the heck? Why am I in this? At some point, I know that a lot of us will have felt that. I want to give up. But there's a staying power that comes from God. And that's why I was discussing with Toby Alassi. We met after some years. I was talking about putting God first. Put your spouse and then put yourself. If God indeed is my father in law, and if indeed my spouse is the son of God, I can report to my father in law before reporting to anybody. And that's one of the things that true spice to marriage. I'm not American, so I'm a second brother. So I've just been asked to come and continue to program here. So if you are trying to tell us about a bit about marriage, I'll go just summarize it in three minutes and then we move on as we move on to the next item on the program. Hallelujah. I know that's where my speech is going, brother going, architect going back. But I don't want to Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome up to the ladies to share with us few other ladies to share with us with me about their mind. Thank you very much.
major lesson in marriage thus far is that you have to make it work. It's not going to work automatically. You have to make it work. And the more you persist in this, the more the beauty comes out. Marriage is sweet. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you so much. Pardon me, sir. Uh, we just, hallelujah. One of the things that this had cool cost in my marriage was, was that I told my wife, I said, What is the need with a cool? Hey, so you don't want to be wearing a cool with me, Abby? You are not proud of me, Abby. And I looked at it that, What? Kill a big lunch. But the truth is, the uncle thing sent a lot of signal. If you don't like it, I agree. But the truth of the matter is that it goes a long way to show some messages. That is, if the uncle is not just in the external, you can wear a coat and your heart are far apart. You can wear a coat to mask the situation. But when it is internal, it speaks for you. You know, those are things we look at when as a lot of people, they smile together, they play together, they play together, they play together, they pray together, and they plan together. Is a thing that we know to see. Hallelujah. Yeah, okay. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to just share something while we wait for the sound. One, um, the boss of the celebrant, that's Mrs. Marty, wants to give us a voice note, and we are working with the technical team to share it. I like basic two things. When we celebrated our, our tenth anniversary, my wife told me, he said, "These ten years have tolerated you." These 10 years have been, have come to accept you, but these next 10 years I'm going to show you. <laughs> I said, wow, what is it that you want to show me again? Because the truth of the matter is that, ah, I showed her and I know I did. <laughs> so when I said I will show you, <laughs> no, no, the showing I showed her is to also make her. I'm using that as an escape to bless the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> So I showed her, she said, I'm going to show you all the things you need I'll by now. I will be giving it back to you. But she had not been able to even do that since the time she said it. I know she was passing the message. I learned that we should be sensitive. One of the critical things I learned in marriage is sensitivity. I'm a sanguine by nature. I can be very outburst. You can even, you might not even know what is wrong with me. I might be paid. I might be struggling. But you won't know. But that's not my wife. So when me I'm covering up, I'm using that sound when I can talk to people, make people laugh, enjoy my day. She's being hot, but I never pay attention to that. So I learned that we need to be sensitive. Number two, I learned also in my marriage that the celebration you get from outside must first come from home. I got that inspiration that ah, I said my wife God is speaking to me that there is a message that is touching my heart. Who is it? Did a Christian? No, I have said, as you are getting inspiration, you're not the first person to tell you if you're a Christian or not. And that touched me that if I cannot be approved, if God has approved me, and my wife cannot say well of me that I'm a Christian, that's an aberration. And you might know the story of what Elder Adetola told us in Sunday school. He said there was a man who went to a village and he narrated, if you are ready, just need that signal to me and then move on. He narrated that. There was a village, the man, the missionary went there and, okay, you are ready, and translated the whole book of the New Testament, the Gospel, with a native. And the man told him that, are you ready to be a Christian? I don't see the life of Jesus. He said, I can't, I'm not seeing anybody like Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm going to come back to some families while we listen to. Um, First of all, I'd like to express my regrets for not. Hold on, please. Can you pause, please? So that we can. Let me just quickly introduce the person that is speaking. He's at the boss of Mrs. Martin, His Excellency, uh, Madam Aisha Babangida. A round of applause for her. She, after, you know, one of the greatest advantages you have if your boss identifies with you is also a very key thing. And I want to say peace of the all of us. We celebrate you, ma'am, for identifying with our sister. The Lord bless you. Let's have a voice, too. Good evening, everybody. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to express my regrets for not being there at the last minute. Unfortunately, I had to attend to a little infant. 
But let me start by appreciating all our parents here today, um, and all the members of the church, and, and friends of Lai and Tony, everybody that is here today. We're here to celebrate a union, a union that is blessed. Um, we're here to celebrate a love, a love that has no end. Um, having listened to the story that our dear mother just narrated about their love life and their love story, and you know, it just gladdens me that um, one thing I know is that this union is blessed. Um, the individuals that are in the union are aware of their responsibility in keeping the union as one. I keep making emphasis on the word union because it is so paramount for us today in this world that, um, especially in Nigeria, where people don't seem to understand the institution called marriage. And having to have Lai and Tony narrate their stories, it's, uh, it's hope. Um, I know it's an inspiration to me, um, for me. And I know that it will be an inspiration to a lot of people as well, those that are married and those that intend to get married. Um, May God bless you and reward you for keeping you both as one, for remembering that God is the one that keeps you home. Um, and prayers to Him is important. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. So, on behalf of um, um, Joy, like, just in case you don't know what to know, Joy is a key element of strength in our organization at the WENA, the way she works. Um, so this is important to me, I, I missed it, but this is important to me and this is important to them. So on behalf of WENA, on behalf of every member of Troyne's team, I'd like to make a pledge of 100 copies of but um, we're going to donate this book to institutions um, where young um, intended um, couples or young people could actually benefit from this as well. So really, I, I am very proud to be associated with Tori and I as well, associated with this growth and love story. Um, I pray God to continue to bless you all and reward you and keep you as one. Um, and for everybody that attended today, as God brought you here together as one, may He take you back safely and may He bless and reward you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. God bless you. God bless you, we good. And God will continue to expand you to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to recognize our people who are also watching us online, virtually, on Zoom. I want to recognize our parents, the parents of the bride. The parents, I mean, they are not right now. Hallelujah. Tony is the one confusing me. Our white attire was just looking as if she was wearing a little girl again. I was my father. Oh God. Uh, don't confusion me here. Hallelujah. The parents of Mrs. Uh, Onuato Imati and the parents of uh, uh, Mr. Lai Imati. You know, he said Lai has ideas. I told Lai, I said, this is my return now, eh, is to see the reality of these ideas. Now we must pray through, so that we can now pray through. Hallelujah. So if you have anybody that wants to contribute on Zoom, please just signify the technical clue we kind of let us know, and then it puts you on the uh, um, console, and then we can have your contributions. The Lord will bless you real good in Jesus' name. What we are doing? Sorry, brother, what we are doing? Let me be you are in church, so let me come up on the spot on me, so that you don't come and see my friend. I want you to come and share one thing about your love story. I don't want to call your wife. Just come up and come and share with us your love story. Just tell us something. As a young, I mean, couple, that the Lord is helping you. Just tell us what, what you want to share with us. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, to all our parents in the house, sorry, I'm not been able to hear everybody, but uh, I respect everyone. I'm 
to those who are giving us online, uh, may I say congratulations to the couple, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Mahi. Um, by some strange reasons, uh, Mrs. Paul Arrigoy said she had the feeling that our brother would do as he usually does, which is to look for trouble once in a while. But it's my brother and uh, You offend the prophet, you have to, you have to face the consequences. <laughs> but uh, I won't say that the prophet again. Um, I feel honored to be able to share um, a bit of God's goodness to us, myself, and Paula. We, we have a unique story um, in the sense that our meeting was very coincidental, so to say. And I think we met Dabishar. And I think it was just because, uh, no, we met in sanctuary. And she looked very serious, I looked very serious. And I felt, as far as I was concerned, there is no way our uh, two paths can ever cross. And as far as she's concerned, there is no way it can ever cross. So it was mutually, uh, but somehow we met. I think the last time we met, um, by God's divine, there was a program, a children's program. I was asked to come and facilitate something. Um, and then I left for a while the scene where she was. The story is that it's with God's um, favor that. I have enjoyed and the way God brought us together uh, it's been it's unique really, it's uncommon. And I'm sure that if she was the one that would share the story, it'd probably be a bit more interesting, but I have left where she was the this vicinity where she was and I came to where my base is, which is Abuja. So we didn't talk for a very long time until it was clear that uh, it was God's ordination, and so I uh, thank God. If you want to ask me about the story, I will say really, I, I learned just one thing in our counseling session. Not, not just one thing, but one of the things that have helped me, that has helped me. Uh, our counselor said something about a triangle, and that triangle principle is what I've always held on to. He said that in the triangle, there are three sides, isn't it? two sides seat and then there's a top and he said as long as the two of you are focused on God and you make up your mind to approach God naturally you'll get close to each other and that's been one of the things that God has helped me to learn um, she is the most perfect person I have been most imperfect uh, and much more impatient than she is uh, so I can't tell you that I've read books or I've, I've done this or that. I think it's just in God's love. And like I said, there is a very critical part of God bringing us together, which the story we won't be able to share the details here, but really it's in God that just showed us mercy. So the, the, the thing I would like to drop with those who are here, and probably are not married, and those who may be joining online, is just that. Um, when our lives are in God's hands, even when we didn't ask for it, I didn't ask for what I did ask. At the time when I was, when I was really trying to think of who to, as a matter of fact, when I was in that vicinity, I was looking at somebody else. So, for one of the things that was in my mind, I told God, it was very clear that God, I didn't know exactly what I need. I said, you know what I need. God just made it happen. So make God your own days and God will um, order your steps and your key decisions. Um, sometimes I'm just bring things for you. Like Adam, I was just sleeping and God gave you. Make the issue of love. There will be a lot of divide the eggs. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. <laughs> I don't. Amen. I remember the, one of the weddings I missed that paint me is Lai's wedding. 
I was not at the wedding, but I followed you. And I saw the song they sang on that wedding day. It was, but my wife represented me. It was, it was fantastic, a fantastic. Today again, I want to sing of the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God, and how God has been faithful for these years. So while we wine and dine, let's see how we can also concentrate on the song to share also the story so far for what God has been doing in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate God and appreciate the Matthews family as they come out to sing for us again at their 10th wedding anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay, I think I met my wife in the choir. So we've been singing since then. Please let's come forward here. We'll uh, sing the song together. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. 
Lord is in visit it. Praise the Lord. Our second song is to express our love to God. And um, I'm sure you will be blessed as you listen. There is no mountain God won't climb. There is no shadow you will not light for him to find us.
Amen. I can see a lot of a lot of transformation from the song that was sung on that day ten years ago. Uh, and now there is a lot of uh, fire in the one that they are singing now. Hallelujah. May the joy of the Lord continue to abound in your home. And may you have any cause to sing in the name of Jesus. For some of us that read the devotion of our daily bread, one of the last few days we read talked about uh, the author of having a, a parent that lost in dementia. She could not recognize her. She got smooth the every time she goes there. And she said, she's an opera singer. And the Lord just ministered to her that every time you go there, just sing. And the moment she got there the next time and she was singing, and the mother started singing with her. She threw up her moodiness, her pettiness, and then she started relating with her. There's power in songs. So what is that situation in your marriage that you cannot confound, you cannot confront? What's that situation in your marriage that's giving you challenge? I challenge you today to go and sing about the love of God to it. And believe God to take control. And I still tell you that God will make a way in Jesus' name. We have the book that we're going to be launching today. And then we do the review for those of us that were here earlier. And the title of the book is The Beloved and a Lover. A true life love story. Written, authored, published by the, <laughs> uh, the, the Mr. and Mrs. himself. And for your information, we have 100 copies sold. That's, 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 that's a hit. On the day of the Lord, we have over 100 copies sold as well. We have pre-ordered of about 20 or more than 20, and we have 100 copies sold. One of the greatest pair of authors is how can I sell my book? I'm a salesman, and the greatest challenge is said, you can have the best of products, and it does not move from the store to the client you are drawn. I want to call on our pastor, one of the pastors that I appreciate the call of God upon his life. He's a pastor that has the heart of his members. He's a prophet and he's someone that his humility is contagious. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give you a warm welcome for our old very pastor, his great assembly, you want to see a good branch. Pastor Brian Juma. Emmanuel Esuka. As a place to engage in the group, while he loves Thank you very much. Yours, and all we are asking is for a seal, a divine seal upon this book. 
the divine seal upon this book. The divine seal upon this book. Father, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray one more prayer before we conclude. Lai and Tony have had dreams of writing. This is the first book, I guess. I'm not aware you've written any other book. I want us to pray and say, oh God, because this book has come out, every other book inside them will come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we pray that prayer for them and say, Lord God, every other book that is in the inside of them will come out by your grace, by your divine help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We pray, oh God, that the path of this book will be the path of greater things to come. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we are grateful to you that we can gather to celebrate this couple that you have preserved and kept for 10 years. We are grateful to you, O oh God, that they can put down their love story for people to read. They have not done it to gratify yourself. They have done it to honor your name. The Lord is saying, glory be to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For the wisdom, for the provision, for the inspiration to be able to make this book available, Lord, we say thank you. To you be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are asking for this one thing from you. That your seed of ownership will be upon this book from tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There are many books that have been written that you know nothing about. But this particular one, O God, accept it as yours. And let your seed be upon it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And by this we make a declaration that this book, O God, shall be a blessing to the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, O God, that this book will be a solution. This book, O God, will be an answer to the problem of the world there in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare that this book will go places. We declare the name of Jesus that by your spirit, this book will go so far that demands for its translation to other languages will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We ask that through this book, deliverance will come. Amen. Healing will come. Amen. Direction will come Amen. to marriages, to single men and women in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that through this book, oh God, there will be great testimonies Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we ask that through this book, people will get to understand what true love is all about in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is their first book, it will not be the last. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every other book that is in, on the inside of them, Lord, you will bring them out. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because your son and your daughter have been able to bring out this book, we make a declaration tonight that every vision, every idea that they have walked upon that seeks to have tarried, we declare that from tonight there shall be a performance. Amen. There shall be an accomplishment. Amen. There shall be a speedy performance of every idea, of every vision that you have given to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the beginning of the new season of harvest Amen. for your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we together as your people declare that this book is yours Amen. and is dedicated unto you, Amen. unto the kingdom of God, Amen. unto the blessing of this generation and the entire world. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We declare that this book we are in your children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. We use this as a point of comfort to everyone here that has a vision, that have a dream of writing a book, that Lord, you will provoke a performance Amen. for everyone that has such dreams also in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are many, many more books will be written by people that are here and those who are joining us through Zoom in the name of Jesus. Amen. The kingdom of God will rejoice over you Amen. for these great exploits. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a wonderful clap and celebrate our pastor. Hallelujah. And before we go on to have some good word messages for the Martin, for those of us that are on Zoom and those of us online on Facebook, sir.
I want us to be ready. We are going to begin the book launch very short. So if you are here, you want to launch the book, you want to come and just do your part of launching the book. I want to just come up and then give you. Uh, can I get some mic? And then we give you the book. The Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's look at people that want to learn the book online too. If you have people from Zoom that want to launch the book, let's uh, indicate and then we can uh, give you audience on our technical people are going to be doing that for us as you want to launch the book. Thank you very much. If you the technical people will just be on the lookout for Zoom. Alright. Okay. Somebody there. Okay, okay. So if anybody comes up uh, to launch the book, and for those of you who are here too and you want to launch the book, please you can come forward and then I you will just signify anyone who raise your hand. By the time we have people that have come to launch, all of us that are shy to launch, we will now agree here yeah, the cost to buy the book today. And everyone wants to go with the copy. And the Lord bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. Do we have the cake designer here while we do the cutting of the cake, while we wait for people to look at how they are cutting the check, looking out for their uh, app to do the transfer, and then launch the book. So please, let's have the...